Hello everyone, welcome back to Agriculture Insight. Apples are one of the most loved fruits across America. Did you know that American farmers harvest over 10.3 billion pounds of apples every year? Join us as we explore the journey from lush apple orchards, where ripe, juicy apples are carefully harvested, to the modern processing facilities, where they are transformed into refreshing apple juice, premium apple pie, delicious cider, and high-quality apples ready for your table. Now, get ready to dive into the fascinating world of apples. Let's get started. Here we are, visiting one of the largest apple-growing regions in the United States, Washington State, often called the apple basket of the nation. With its ideal climate, fertile soil, and producing over 70% of the country's apples, Washington is not only famous, but also the birthplace of some of the finest apples around. Here, apple trees take about two to three years from planting to start blooming, and it takes a few more months for those delicate blossoms to transform into plump, juicy apples. And when harvest season arrives, the apple orchards come alive with activity. Farmers carefully pick each apple by hand, using a gentle twisting technique to remove the fruit from the branch without damaging the skin. This is crucial to ensure the apples stay fresh during transport and processing. Once picked, the apples are placed directly onto conveyor belts supported by modern machines. These machines move slowly through the rows of trees, gently collecting the apples with care and efficiency. From there, the apples are transferred into specially designed containers that protect them from bruising on their journey to the processing facility. This mechanical machine features a rotating cleaning unit on the conveyor belt, equipped with soft brushes that spin continuously to gently remove dirt and impurities from the surface without damaging the delicate skin of the apples. This method combines the skillful hands of farmers with advanced technology, ensuring the apples always maintain their top quality. It's the first step in the journey of bringing Washington's famous apples to your table. After being carefully harvested and safely transported, the apples continue their journey at modern processing facilities. Here, advanced technology is used to make sure the apples not only stay fresh, but are also prepared to become high-quality products that meet consumer expectations. At the processing facility, the first step in handling the apples is thorough cleaning. They are placed into an automated washing system, where they pass through large water tanks, here, gentle water currents wash away dirt, sand, and surface impurities. Next, the apples are guided through a high-pressure spray system, where powerful nozzles thoroughly clean every nook and cranny of each apple, removing any remaining debris. In some advanced facilities, ozone water or mild sanitizing solutions are also used to ensure the apples meet strict food safety standards. After the apples are washed, they move up the conveyor belt to the drying section in the sorting facility. Here, modern dryers use a strong yet gentle airflow to remove excess water from the surface without compromising the quality of the fruit. At the same time, soft brushes work alongside to gently clean and polish the apple skin, giving it a bright and appealing shine. This process ensures the apples are thoroughly dried and ready for the next stage while maintaining their freshness and visual appeal. After being thoroughly cleaned, the apples move to the sorting area. Advanced optical scanners carefully inspect each apple, analyzing details like size, color, shape, and the condition of the skin. The highest quality apples are sorted based on size and grade, ready for packaging or further processing. Apples that don't meet the standards are redirected to other processing lines for uses like juice or other apple-based products. After being sorted by the machine, the apples move along the conveyor belt to the automated labeling system. Here, advanced sensors in the labeling machine precisely identify the correct position and quickly apply small labels to each apple evenly. Next, the fresh, high-quality apples are moved to the packaging area. Here, each apple is carefully placed into trays or carton boxes, lined with soft padding to protect the fruit from scratches and bruises. The apple crates are then loaded into cartons and transported to the warehouse, ready for delivery to the consumer. 
Moreover, in some modern facilities, the packaging process is fully automated. Advanced robotic systems with precise sensors carefully pick up each apple, gently placing them evenly into trays. This method ensures faster processing speeds, minimizes errors, increases efficiency, and maintains consistent product quality. These packaging robots can operate continuously for extended periods, handling large orders while still delivering the highest standards of quality. Next we come to the Apple Pie Factory, an icon of American cuisine. The process of making apple pies in the factory begins with preparing the filling from fresh apple slices, which are lightly cooked with honey, apple juice, and cinnamon in large steam-heated kettles to create a smooth and flavorful mixture. Next, the pie crust is made from premium butter, whole wheat flour, honey, and ice-cold water, ensuring the crust remains flaky after baking. The dough is rolled into thin sheets and placed over pie molds while the apple filling is automatically pumped into each crust. Then, a top layer of crust is added and the edges are trimmed and neatly crimped before the pies are baked in a convection oven for even cooking. Generally, the baking process takes around 10 to 15 minutes at temperatures ranging from 375 to 425 gray fair. Pies that meet the standards are flash frozen, sealed in airtight packaging, and placed into cardboard boxes, ready for distribution to consumers. The factory can produce over 2,100 apple pies per hour, meeting the high market demand. For apples used in making juice or cider, where appearance is less critical, harvesting is done using shaking machines. Shaking machines are among the most common harvesting tools on apple farms. Initially, the machine is positioned near the apple tree that needs to be harvested. The arm of the machine is adjusted to fit snugly around the trunk, ensuring that the device can efficiently shake the tree. Once the arm is correctly positioned, the shaking system is activated. The shaking force is evenly distributed from low to high, ensuring that the apples fall gently without damage. The apples then fall directly to the ground around the tree. After the apples fall to the ground, apple sweeping machines are used to collect them. These machines feature a rotating arm close to the ground that sucks up the apples, and a front barrier that pushes the apples into rows to prevent them from being run over. Farmers control the machine as it moves along the rows of apples. The apples on the ground are moved into the machine by the rotating part, and then onto a conveyor system that leads them into a storage bin attached to the back of the machine. As the apples pass through this conveyor system, impurities such as dry leaves and weeds are also removed. Once the rear bin is full, the machine transfers the apples to another trailer, which will transport the apples to the storage facility. Additionally, shaking machines equipped with catching nets are also used. These operate similarly to standard shaking machines, but after the apples fall, they land on a net instead of directly onto the ground. The apples are then conveyed from the net to a conveyor belt that moves them into a storage container. This machine essentially combines the features of the two previously mentioned machines. However, it can cause damage to the apples and does not allow for selective harvesting of only ripe apples. Farmers may stand behind the machine to remove any damaged apples that are collected. This method helps to reduce the impact on the apples and somewhat streamlines the collection process. Next is the over-the-row apple harvester, a specialized machine made in Germany. This machine is suitable for apple varieties with smaller trees, less branching, and heights under 3 meters, planted in straight rows. It is equipped with a multi-tier rotating shaft system made of rubber. As the machine moves over the trees, the rotating rings vigorously shake them, causing ripe red apples to fall. The apples are then moved by a conveyor belt to a storage container. This method is very modern, however, it does not remove impurities such as leaves from the apples and can potentially damage the plants. After the apples are harvested and transported to the factory, their journey truly begins. First, the apples are thoroughly cleaned in an automated washing system. High-pressure spray nozzles combined with soaking tanks effectively remove dirt and impurities from the surface of the apples. 
This step ensures proper hygiene and prepares the apples for grinding and pressing. Once cleaned, the apples are transferred to a grinding machine, where they are crushed to release their juice, creating a pulp mixture that is ready for the pressing stage. Next, the apple pulp is sent to a hydraulic press or screw press to extract fresh juice. This is a crucial step because the juice obtained forms the foundation for the quality of the cider. To ensure purity, the juice is thoroughly filtered to remove any pulp residue and impurities, leaving behind a clear, flavorful liquid that captures the natural taste of the apples. The apple juice is then pumped into large fermentation tanks, typically made of stainless steel or oak. At this stage, yeast is added to kickstart the fermentation process, where the natural sugars in the apple juice are converted into alcohol and carbon dioxide. This process occurs in a carefully controlled environment with strict regulation of temperature and time, usually lasting one to three weeks. This ensures that every drop of cider achieves the desired alcohol content and flavor profile. Once the cider reaches its perfect flavor, it is transferred to an automated bottling line. The cider is lightly pasteurized with heat or filtered through membranes to ensure safety and stability. Each bottle is then filled, sealed tightly, and labeled with detailed product information, including the type of cider, alcohol content, and production date. Finally, the bottles undergo one last quality check before being packed and distributed to stores or exported to international markets. Apple cider has a long history in the United States, beginning with European settlers who brought apple seeds and cider making techniques to the New World in the 17th century. During the colonial era, cider became a popular drink due to the ease of growing apples and the unreliability of clean water. In addition, cider is also bottled in larger sizes for ease of use. In addition to cider, fresh apples are also turned into bottled apple juice, a popular drink that's natural and nutritious. The process of making apple juice shares many similarities with cider production. After the apples are washed, ground, and pressed to extract the juice, the liquid undergoes pasteurization at a temperature of 60 to 85 degrees Celsius for a short period. This step eliminates bacteria and yeast while preserving the natural flavor and beneficial nutrients of the apples. After making apple pies or other apple products, apple pomace is often used as animal feed. Finally, the apple juice is sent to an automated packaging line. Glass bottles or small pouches are carefully sterilized before being filled with the juice, then sealed tightly and labeled with all the necessary product information. The packaged juice undergoes strict quality checks to ensure safety and perfect flavor before being distributed to retail outlets. Apple juice is not only a delicious beverage, but also offers numerous health benefits, such as providing vitamin C, antioxidants, and boosting the immune system. With its natural sweetness and easy-to-drink appeal, apple juice has become a popular choice in American diets, from family breakfasts to sports events. Apples are also a symbol of America, widely grown in states like Washington and New York, with farms producing millions of tons of apples annually. The popularity of apple juice not only drives the agricultural sector, but also contributes to a unique culinary culture, tied to iconic images like apple pies and autumn festivities. This demonstrates that apple juice is more than just a drink, it's an integral part of American life and culture. In addition, apples are also processed into applesauce. The production process of applesauce begins with washing and peeling the apples followed by cutting them into small pieces for easier cooking. These apple pieces are placed into a large pot and cooked with a small amount of water to maintain their softness while preserving their natural flavor. During the cooking process, sugar and spices like cinnamon can be added according to the recipe. Once the apples are soft, they are mashed or blended to the desired consistency, ranging from chunky to smooth. Finally, the applesauce is packaged into jars or sealed containers, ready for consumption or long-term storage.
Now you have a complete overview of how farmers harvest and process billions of pounds of apples every year. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more exciting stories about the world of agriculture. Goodbye, and see you in the next video.